Rebel fans have had to wait 25 years, but it's finally happening. UNLV Duke, December 10th at T-Mobile Arena. Now, Coach Mike Krzyzewski happens to be in Las Vegas right now, training with USA Basketball, hopefully bringing the U.S. another gold medal in the Olympics. But he met up with Marvin Menzies, the new Runner Rebel head coach, earlier today. The two discussing a rivalry renewed. Right here, guys. One, two, three. Well, I try not to remember 19. Sentimental was not 1990. Everyone says, well, you beat us. And I'm saying, yeah, do you know what happened the year before? Right. You know, I forgot about that one. It's the biggest loss in the history of the NCAA championship. And I was part of that game, but not on the, the side that had the 30-point lead. So uh, no, I'm not sentimental about it. I'm proud. I'm proud that we were in two Final Four games. Look, every program should be proud if they do the Final Four. And that year, even though we lost, I was proud that we were in the championship game. They were by far the better, the, by far the better team. The next year, we added a kid named Grant Hill, and so we were, we were pretty good too. So. Say, I had nothing to do with the schedule, by the way, but uh, but I but I'm going to embrace you know every opportunity and every challenge that did we they have. They scheduled before they hired you. know you? they did. <laughs> I'm uh, I'm just the lucky recipient. So, but you know I, I think Amber, when you look at. Uh, what we had uh, before I got here, if, if people were to evaluate that too much, it takes away from where we're at yeah. today and who we have on the floor that I'm practicing with now. Uh, we've got some great rebels, you know, that are in the house and wearing the, wearing the Scarlet and Great Proud right now. And I think we need to just keep our energy and our focus and our attention on the current guys and then the guys going forward. Not to take anything away from the past, obviously, um, but, but we're, you know, it's time to pay it forward with these guys and give them everything we have to kind of show them what was and let's, let's, let's make it be. The UNLV brand of basketball has not gone away. It may uh, need to be heightened. You know, that's what he's going to try to do. But it's there. You know, you have a tremendous history of success and, and a style of play that uh, really made other people want to play that way. And Jerry and I always felt that we played a little bit alike as far as defense goes. And, uh, and I, I think every once in a while, if you have an opportunity to bring back the past into the present, which might increase the future, is, is, a, is a good way of doing it. So it's an honor for us to come, come here and do it. I look at other programs with respect and who's coaching them, the past, what they're trying to do right now. And so I don't, I don't look at UNLV's program in decline I look at it having a great base, a great branding base, and, and now a terrific guy running the program, which can he can build on it. And, you know, a lot of times it doesn't take that much to become a tournament team. It's that one or two recruit, it's, uh, the the chemistry, or and certainly the health once you get there. And so, yeah, you know, I think they have a, a chance to you know be a top flight program again. Mike, how does Duke and kind of Duke Nation look at this rivalry? Is it still a rivalry to you guys? Because Rebel fans would say it absolutely is, even if we haven't played. Well, we have a rivalry with everybody. <laughs> no question. So <laughs> yeah, everyone has a rivalry with, with you, us. That, yeah, that's good. So, but that's good because in March, if you've been in a number of those games and understand that people have circled your game with them, everyone circles the games in March. And so if you prove to be successful in a, a good portion of these, then maybe you've got a better chance to do it in March. But uh, again, I, I want to emphasize, it's an honor for us uh, to, to play this game. Yeah, it, I'm, I'm glad we were presented this opportunity. And I'm curious to ask you, you've been coming to Las Vegas, obviously, for a number of years with Team USA. Yeah. You've gotten to know the staff. By myself, too. Mendenhall, right. How has that been? Have, have people been kind of jabbing you, saying, hey, when are you going to play? Well, the, the first time we ever came and we introduced the, uh, the U.S. team, and I was introduced, it, it wasn't applause. Let's put it that way. <laughs> Since then, I've asked them not to introduce me. And, uh, but uh, I hope they've embraced the fact that uh, when, I, when we're doing this, we're all on the same team. And no city in the United States could have done a better job of embracing USA basketball than this city. This has been unbelievable. And for UNLV to provide us the logistics and the support, seamless. It's been seamless, it's been perfect. And 
it's, it, it's been a key factor in the success that we have enjoyed thus far. Hopefully we'll enjoy it on August 21st. For your team and your guys, where is this game stacking in? Obviously UNR is a big rival, but this season in particular, are we putting a little bit more weight on this game or UNR? And kind of you know, I, honestly, I think ri true rivalries, uh, like the UNR game, uh, I've been a part of a lot of rivalries. You know, Louisville, Kentucky, and, and USC, UCLA when I was with those programs. But I, I think those games obviously are, for the, for the student athletes, those are the ones that are consistently talked about year in, year out. And so uh, this is just a great opportunity to play. And, you know, anytime you, you, you get a chance to play a team like that, and not just Duke, but any ranked team, you know, all the all real competitors should earmark it and say, hey, this is, we got to make sure we bring it. But I think the true rivalry games, like the UNR game, will probably be something that we might even try to be a little more creative in our locker room to, to get them geared up for that one. Get your tickets now. Many expecting this to be a sellout crowd, even at T-Mobile Arena, which holds a couple thousand more then the Thomas and Mack Center and the added bonus of this game is that proceeds will go to coaches versus cancer. For the Rebel Report, I'm John Castanino.